Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'd like to talk about a couple other things. I thought this would be a good time actually out here because I'm burning some scrap wood right now so I thought I'd take this time and share a little bit with you. So the first thing that I'd like to talk about is why I started a YouTube channel. So the reason that I started doing this was because I myself as a woodworker finish a whole lot of projects in a given month or a year and I personally think it would be really cool to go back and be able to see those things in the form of a video or a write up about the project or other things. So I decided to go in the video realm because YouTube is actually a pretty popular platform right now and I think this would be a fun thing to do. I know I do other stuff other than strictly woodworking. I take you along with whatever I'm doing in a given day and I think that's a good thing to do because then that gets me out of the shop, it gets me doing other stuff and I still get to share that with you. Now talking about all of these videos, the reason why I try to upload it almost every day like I say at the end of every video is because I don't really want to feel obligated to only upload once a week. If I have something that I would like to share with you and something that I'd like to talk about and film, I don't want to have to wait until the next week to put that together. I'd rather get it done and get it out to share with you. Now what that means in turn is that then those videos aren't maybe going to be as finished or completed as you may like. I may have to end it at a certain point. Maybe if I'm gluing up a big project, that will be at the end of the day and that is where I would have to start. And some of you guys who have started since the beginning here with me have realized that and have seen that and I have received some support from that. People like seeing a project in parts instead of one long video because that means that there's more content for you to see and that there's then more steps along the way that are shown with you because if you put all those videos together into one hour long or 50, even 50 minute long video, that is still a lot longer than those people that only make a six minute video and show the whole project. So that's kind of where I'm coming from with that. So there are also many times throughout the week where I try to upload a video that maybe isn't woodworking or it maybe isn't a part of the main project. I also like to try to share with you some other things and I think that is a good thing to do. So putting out a video almost every day or where I try to upload a video almost every day is a lot of work, it is time consuming, and there are things that however have to take priority over these videos and unfortunately that is something that maybe some of you may not like if you like seeing my face every day, but let me get into that. So I am actually a student in high school and I have tests, quizzes, homework, and all these things that I have to do after school every day and those things have to get done before I put out a video. As a matter of fact after I finish filming this video I have to study because I have midterms this week and what that means is that I will not be able to be putting out videos from Tuesday up until Thursday. That means Friday I will be back and I will be doing either a tool talk or a DIY project for this week. I enjoy doing both of those. I think on this channel my DIY projects are the things that I really like. So another thing I'd like to touch on today in this video is some of the gear and some of the setup that I have for filming these videos. Now I myself have only been filming for about a month now and I've put out a decent amount of videos and I've been getting into a little bit of a routine. So there have actually been a couple questions presented to me about some of the gear or the camera that I've used. Okay, I'm not kidding you when I say this, but right as I just started talking about gear, my tripod just mangled itself. I was adjusting it to get the next shot by lowering this thing right here, and it just sheared off. Okay, now what I'm filming on is another tripod that I actually got from my brother, and I guess I'll have to start filming with this one until I get a new one. So let me show you what I kind of rigged up here to make this work. So that is a 4 inch long screw that I just screwed into a piece of plywood, and that is what I'm going to be using now. 
So that brings me to my next point. And what I'd like to say is that the camera that I film with is actually my iPad Air. And there's no lens on it, there's no external microphone or anything. It's just the iPad, and that is what I'm using currently to film all of my videos. So, I know that isn't the best thing that I could be using. However, money does not grow around trees, and I will eventually be getting a better camera, microphone. I'd love to have a microphone that clips onto, like, my shirt or apron, but that is going to be something that is down the road in the next couple of months, hopefully. So, this contraption thing that I just showed you is a couple pieces of plywood that I put together so that then I can rest my iPad against and film with that camera. And I kind of jerry-rigged this thing on the old one and that is probably why it broke but but I'm just going to forget about that and use this tripod. So that is what is going to be happening in the next couple months. I know I don't have the best camera gear, however, there are people that just start out and they can grow a successful channel with just a few bucks and a camera that they've already had. I've had this iPad for about a year and a half now. It's a great iPad. I watch YouTube videos on it. I do homework on it. And when I decided to do YouTube, that is the camera that I decided to use. So that is that. So that is pretty much all I have to say. I think this was a good video to do. I know I haven't connected with you guys all that much, but I think this video will kind of help with that. But I think that's just some stuff that had to be said. Please, if there are any questions or comments or concerns or whatever about the channel, about me, about anything, throw it in the comment section and hit that like button. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit that subscribe button. If this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe because I try to put out new videos almost every day and I will see you on Friday in the next video.